Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log in with Facebook using Firebase and JavaScript. Okay, let's start with an index.html page which I wrote in Bootstrap 5. The important thing to note here is that I have a button here for Facebook login. This is the button we'll be using. The rest of the things here you can avoid because we've already done videos on how to do all these. The first thing I need you to do to log in with Facebook on a web application is to go to Firebase and create a new project. Click on add project. Give your project a name. Don't give it the name Facebook or any other brand name for that matter. I'll give mine tutorial test. Then click on continue. I like to disable analytics because we are not using them for this tutorial. Other than that, just click on create project and this will start creating your project. This may take a while, so please like the video, subscribe and tell me what you think the next video should be about in the comments down below. Click on continue once this is done and then add a web application by clicking on this icon here. Give your web application a name. Again, we don't use the word Facebook or any other brand name here. I'm going to name mine tutorial test like this. Then I'll click on register app. I will uncheck hosting for now, but we'll need to enable this later in the video. Once you are here on this page, I want you to click on the script tag. Then copy this script here. Go back to Visual Studio Code and create a JavaScript file. I'll call it login page.js. Then simply paste the script here and remove the tags here. Go back to Firebase and click on continue. As you know, once you are here, I want you to click on the authentication tab. Click on get started and look for Facebook. You'll find it right there. Click on Facebook. Once you're in the Facebook service provider, you will need an app ID and app secret to enable this. Here's what you need to do to get those. Open another tab and go to developers.facebook.com and log in with your Facebook account. Once you're logged in, you'll see this page. At this point, you can click on my apps and then create app. Once you are here, I want you to choose the first option here, then click on next. Click on no, I'm not building a game. Provide a name for your app. Mine will be tutorial test. Then click on create app. You'll need to provide your Facebook pin in order to create an app. After your app is created, what you need to do is go to app settings, then basics. Once there, you'll see your app ID and app secret. Just copy these and go back to Firebase and input them into the input fields here. First the app ID, then the app secret. After that, I want you to copy the link provided here. This is important. Go back to your Facebook app and click on dashboard. On dashboard here, you'll see this button saying customize your Facebook login button. Click on it. Then go to settings. You will need to copy the link provided here on the valid or auth redirect URLs. So copy that and paste it there. After that, click on save. And now the Firebase Facebook provider is now enabled in our project. All we need to do now is write the code. But before we do that, there's one more thing we need to do. Go back to your Facebook app and click on go back to settings. Here in settings, under permissions, I want you to click on add. This will allow Firebase to access your email as well as your public Facebook profile. And with that, you are done with the Facebook app configuration 
and Firebase app configuration. What we need to do now is write the code for this. So go back to Visual Studio Code. Okay, the first thing I need you to do is import Firebase by copying this line here, pasting it here, then changing app to auth here. Like this. Then erasing this one and importing get auth. And then importing Facebook auth provider. Once those two functions are imported, we can get started. First, we declare auth by saying const auth is equals to get auth. And then pass our app as our argument here. Then we define our provider by saying const provider is equals to new Facebook auth provider. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to write a function that runs always when the DOM is loaded. So I'm going to select the document and add an event listener to it. The event that we're going to be listening for is DOM loaded. Once the DOM is loaded, we're going to run this function right here. Within this function, I'm going to grab the Facebook login button with its ID. So back in your HTML, Make sure that your button has an ID. The ID for mine is going to be Facebook button. Select the Facebook button and add an event listener to it. This time we are listening for the event click. When this button is clicked, we are going to run this function here. Since this button is within a form, when we click it, it's going to refresh the entire page but what i want you to do is say event in here then event dot prevent default to prevent this from happening i also like to use alerts to confirm that the button is being clicked successfully and our button is not being clicked successfully and that's because i didn't link our javascript file here to the html so in the body of our HTML here, I'm going to say script type module. Make sure the type is module. This is important. Then source is going to be login page.js. Once I save this and go back to our page and click on the button, you'll see that the function is now running. So within our function here, we are going to need a function called sign in with popup. And we can get that from the Firebase documentation. So go back to the Firebase documentation. Scroll down to Facebook and on Facebook login, you'll see the function right here. Yeah, I'm just going to copy this function and paste it right here. I'm going to modify it a bit. So what happens is that this function gives you a pop-up and it takes in auth provider as its argument. And then once you've provided your Facebook login, it runs this function here and it declares the user, then your Facebook credentials. So what I want to do at the bottom here is remove the comments and then console log the user. Another thing I want to do once our user is logged in is I'll say window.location.href is equal to dashboard.html. This will redirect the user to our dashboard file which I created right here. This will be our profile page and I'll show you how to fetch user details and display them on this page later in the video. One other thing I like to do is error handling here. Firebase provides an error message when an error occurs and all I want to do is say alert and print the error message so that the user knows what's going on. Go back to your file and then copy the name of the function here. Sign in with popup and on the auth here I'm going to say import sign in with popup from Firebase auth. Save that and go back to your page and click on your file. 
and you'll see the pop-up appear here. And the error I'm experiencing right now is my domain is unauthorized. All I need to do to solve this is copy my domain here, go back to Firebase, click on the authentication tab, click on settings, scroll down to authorize domains and add my local domain here. Be sure to erase the port as well as the rest of the link. Just keep the main domain here and click on add domain. Once this is saved, go back to your page and click on the Facebook button. Now as you can see, when I click on the Facebook button here, this takes me to Facebook where I'll need to input my login credentials. But after I do, I experience this error here. It's saying insecure login blocked. You can't access token or login from an insecure page. To solve this error, it's very simple. All you need to do is take your entire web app here with your entire code here and deploy it online somewhere. You can deploy your website with any service, but since we're using Firebase, I'm going to deploy it using Firebase. So here's what you do. Open Node.js. If you don't have Node.js, you can install it using the link in the description down below. After that, switch to git bash. If you don't have git bash, you can also download that one too using a link in the description down below. Once you are here, you can simply navigate to your project folder. When you are in your project folder, make sure that all the files of your website are here. After that, go back to Firebase, click on your project overview, then click on see all build features and then click on hosting, click on get started and follow this hosting tutorial here. You simply need to copy and paste these commands here into your terminal. I've already done the first one, so I'm not going to install Firebase tools again. I'm just going to click on next. After that, you will need to log in with this command here, in which case you'll just need to copy this command and paste it into your terminal. Once you are logged into the Firebase command line interface, what I need you to do is say Firebase init hosting. Say yes here, then use existing project and select the project we created earlier in this video. I believe it is this one. After that, give this the name public. Then for single page, say no, for GitHub, say no. This will create a folder within our project named public. I'm going to copy all my website files into this public folder here because it is the one that is going to be deployed once we run Firebase deploy. Once those files are copied, I'm going to clear everything and say Firebase deploy. And this will upload all our files to Firebase. After this is done deploying, all you need to do is click on control and click on the link here to open our website. Once our website is open, all you need to do is click on the Facebook button here. This will take you to a pop-up where you will need to provide your Facebook login credentials. After you provide them and click on login, this thing will give you a warning here that you need to submit your app to be reviewed by Facebook. I haven't submitted mine yet because this is a tutorial, but you can submit yours once your app is complete. So I'll click on continue as myself and boom our account is created and we are redirected to the dashboard page i have an empty profile here so now i'm going to show you how to fetch my user details and display them into this page i created here 
So to do that, go back to Visual Studio Code and open your dashboard.html. Make sure that your profile picture, name, phone number have IDs. After that, I need you to create a file named dashboard.javascript. Copy all of this. and paste it into this file. In Firebase, there's a function called onAuthStateChanged. This is responsible for checking whether or not a user is logged in. We are going to copy this function from the Firebase documentation. Let's import it. We don't need sign in with pop-up so i'm going to copy this function and i'm going to paste it here then at the bottom of my dashboard page i'm going to link our script tag i'm going to say script type module Then launch our dashboard page. Remember, the photo, the email, and the phone number here have IDs. So let's go back to the JavaScript. Within our function here, I'm going to grab all of them using their IDs. I like to console.log user first to print the user object. If the user is not logged in, I want this to redirect me back to the index.html page. So let's grab those input fields using their IDs here. Then to replace these with our profile data, we simply need to write email.inner text is equals to user.email and we do the same for the phone number then for the image we say profile.source is equals to user.profile url and if we deploy our website to firebase and then go back to our website and click on the login with facebook button we will be taken to the pop-up we will need to provide our Facebook login credentials and once we do so we'll be redirected to the dashboard.html page at which point we will see our profile here our profile image and our email please like the video subscribe and consider becoming a channel member to get access to all the source code I write thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video I got nightmares in my head I fear Thoughts build up until I can't hear